I'm Diane Dixon, and you're watching Echo for the World. Our planet is calling out for help, and companies are answering with environmental and sustainable development. Pakistan's largest foreign gas producer, OMV, is helping to improve the lives in the country's rural communities. Everyone knows that the kids of today are going to be the movers and shakers of tomorrow. But what if the movers and shakers can't read? What's a country's future without educated citizens? In Pakistan, almost 10 million kids are not able to go to school. And another 50% drop out before the fifth grade. Now take those education statistics and put it together with the fact that quality healthcare here is virtually non-existent in most remote regions of the country, and you've got a serious problem that affects everybody's future. OMV is the largest foreign gas producer in Pakistan. They decided to tackle some of the education and health issues head on. We try to contribute in a number of uh, dimensions. Uh, one of the most important things definitely is education. And right now we are engaged in education projects that reach around 35,000 children here in Europe, but also in Pakistan. This is the desert area of Sin. According to local villagers, four years ago the local school was closed down because the one and only teacher got transferred out. Recently, however, it was brought back to life. OMV Pakistan has reopened it again. After that, they gave us a school teacher to the furniture. OMV Pakistan reopened the school and they provided teachers, furniture, a hand pump for water and proper training for the local teacher. The children are now getting a modern education and they are now eager to come to school. The school has benefited and the environment has changed. As a teacher, I get training every three months from a teacher's resource center. The children now enjoy coming to school. If the kids stay in school, they get a gift courtesy of UNICEF, a retention kit filled with stickers, notepads and pencils. Healthcare and support systems in Sindh also needed a bit of help. Uh, these programs uh, comprise water supply schemes, primary education and primary health programs, like for example the establishment of a mother-child healthcare centre in Salipat. So village health centers, a dispensary, and a mother and child health center were established. Before this hospital, we used to go to Sukhar, which is two hours away. And there were a lot of problems because the transport charges were very expensive. This is my daughter-in-law. She was pregnant and had complications, but as soon as we got here, she was operated upon. She had a C-section. It was easier because the facility is very close to our village. Hepatitis B is one of the biggest health problems here with devastating effects. So vaccinations were needed to curb the spread. We are engaged in a hepatitis prophylaxis project that together with the World Health Organization should provide vaccination for 9,000 people in the south of Pakistan. The UN Global Compact and the Millennium Development Goals are two sets of criteria that help companies focus on issues that affect people and their environment. If this is what one company can do with direction and initiative, imagine what would happen if every company did. <laughs> 